Hey guys, what's up? Norkle here. In this video, we're going to be talking about a piece of software that I absolutely love. It's called Voice Mod. Voice Mod is a really nice soundboard and voice changing software. I've actually been using it for more than a year and spoiler alert, I think it's freaking awesome. In this video, I'll tell you guys what I think about the software, specifically if I think you should get the $40 Pro option. I will also show you how to quickly set it up, how to use the voice changer, and also test some of the voice presets, plus how to use the soundboard. Let's get it started. All right, in terms of the software, I think Voice Mod is actually one of the better voice changers out there. I know that back then when I was thinking of introducing voice changers in my content that I've actually looked at a couple of alternatives. And even as I try to think about it and look back as to what I've tested, I realized that I can't even remember it because voice mod was just so simple. For personally, when I used voice mod, it was actually the most easy to use plus the highest quality that I can find. And it's also very user friendly. And I think it's really super worth it to actually invest in the pro version. Now you can use it for free. There are functionalities with the free voice mod. First of all, you can use seven free presets. And if I'm not mistaken, the, you can use these seven presets and these things shuffle on a weekly basis. So for example, if you like a certain voice changing profile, um, you might not be able to use it the next week if you're not using the pro version. And yeah, I know that I want, I should have tested the non-pro version, but for some reason, voice mod doesn't allow me to actually log out and log into this cl a client, or I think I've tried reinstalling the software and I still don't get the free, the free version. So I'm really sorry to do that. The other free functionality is the soundboard. It's actually a pretty interesting thing. So not only do you get voice changing, you can also add funny meme sounds bound to a hotkey using voice mod. So it's actually really, really complete. So I really highly recommend it. You can buy the pro version at around $39.99 US dollars. I fortunately was able to get it at sale. I think it was um 40% off. So it was like around 24 dollars that I got it for free and it's a lifetime deal. So I, I was so happy and I, I was more than happy to actually pay for the pro version. So I really highly recommend it. Now setting it up is fairly simple. You just have to go to their website and download it. Unlike voice meter, which I think is a, an independently developed software. These guys voice mod is, uh, is backed by a serious team and it looks, and it really shows in their website and in the onboarding process, you just have to download the installer, install it and that's where we're going to be starting. Now to start the configuration process, let's go over to my desktop view so I can show you guys how to do it. Now here we are on our desktop view and what you can see here would be the voice changing interface, but we're not going to jump straight into that. We'll get to that later. The first thing that you'll need to do is go to settings and then adjust the inputs and outputs. Okay. Now the input is usually your microphone. Right, so you just have to select the mic option here that is your microphone. Good thing that voice mod already detects the different types of inputs here. So you should just be able to select. Now, here's the thing. If you're using voice meter, make sure you select the proper voice meter out, uh, output that you've selected in your voice meter setup. By the way, if you need help setting up voice meter, I made a guide on that. So this, uh, it, the link will be in the description below. So make sure you select your voice meter output. Now, in terms of signal chain, I prefer that you put voice mod after your EQ because it's better to EQ the source signal instead of anything that is uh, transformed with a voice changer. So make sure that your voice sounds excellent coming in and then your voice mod will be applying its voice changing magic here. So make sure if you're using voice meter, you link what you, you first run it through voice meter and then run voice meter through voice mod, right? Now the output is the device that you're actually using to listen to it. So for example, I'm using a Go XLR Mini. So that is my dedicated audio interface. So it's set up here. So you just have to choose the right output. All right, cool. So now that you've set it up, let's go to the voice box. The cool thing here is once you get to the pro version, you have so many effects that you can choose. And it's literally super, super simple to actually get it started. Okay, so using this software is actually pretty straightforward. So let's try this baby sound effect. 
and see how it sounds like. The only thing that you need to do is to just turn this on. Boom. My voice should sound like a very nice cute little baby. And it can be pretty annoying, but yeah, that's the point of <laughs> the voice changer. Now, one danger that I'd like to point out is that sometimes you'll forget that the voice changer is on. So I also sometimes uh, like to monitor myself like, hello. But there will be a kind of an echo if you're also hearing yourself because you're, you're playing. Uh, the software is recording desktop audio as well as your voice directly from the mic. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a problem. So just make sure that you are familiar uh, or just aware of that. All right, let, let's turn that off. The cool thing here is that you can even change the different types of key binds for this. Now, for example, baby, I've already have I already have a set key bind here that's left shift, left control, and X. Let us actually remove the key bind. All right, so let's rebind it here. So the only thing you need to do is click baby, click add key bind, and go left shift, left control, and then X. Boom, now it's, it's set up. And I've also set up different profiles already, or at least I've set up the key binds for different profiles. So let's let's hear it. So first, let's set it up. You're hearing the baby voice, guys. You're hearing the baby voice. And if I want to instantly grow up and hit puberty. Boom, now my voice should be oh so buttery and bassy and, and things like that, right? So. There you go. You can also actually change the other key binds as well. So if you want to turn off and on your voice changer, you pretty much have the option to. So right now it's configured, uh, turning on the voice meter. Voice changer means that I will have to press the left control, sorry, left shift, left control, then. Ooh, now my voice should be different. And then I'll turn it on, off again. There you go. The voice changer is off. So it's actually super, super easy to use. Now let's test some of the different types of profiles. Let's go with my favorite ones. The first of the voice changer profiles is the baby that I like, which you've already heard. I really like it when I pretend that I'm a girl. I use it to pretend as like to pretend that I'm a female or like a little bratty kid. And you remember Fred, the Fred dude from from YouTube? Hey Fred! That's that's how I sound like. The next thing that I like to use is obviously the evil one. What's up, everybody? Um, I actually don't use it as an evil sounding uh, voice changer. I make it, I use it to actually sound epic. Let's go, everybody. My name is Norkla and I stream on twitch.tv slash Norkla. The next voice that I also like is punk. It's to imitate Daft Punk movie. Makes us rap, rap. harder, better, faster, stronger. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Right, so I, I really like it. I, I I like this a lot. Basically, I use those three main voices, but if I need to record other types of characters, I will actually just use different types of... I will use different types of voice profiles for them. Now, another really interesting... interesting feature is Voice Lab. Voice Lab actually gets you... Ha has a list of different types of effects that you can apply to your voice and it, it's, it's super cool if you don't want to just use the pre-made you know uh, presets here um, which are already pretty good but you want to create a unique voice then i would actually use this so for example um there's a stereo effect that i really like right so boom there you go you this is the this is the stereo effect and i think this is super super cool we can even add other effects and layer them on so robotifier so this my voice should look, sound pretty different um and then we could add other stuff like There's this confusing nice. delay or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop doing that i'm gonna stop doing this and this is also super powerful and it makes the voice changing capability of voice mod even more powerful so super super recommend this software now, as I've mentioned, the other cool part of this software is the soundboard. And as you can see, I've already imported my MP3 files here. And basically, you can play all of these sounds pretty much here in voice mode. So it's super powerful. Not only can you use it as a voice changer, but it also has a um, soundboard built into it. So I think it's super, super, super uh, 
full of value. <laughs> I sound like I'm such a chill. I'm really not sponsored by voice mod, so maybe voice mod, if if you know if you see this, maybe sponsor me. Just kidding. Um, all right, now let's show you guys how to put your sound bites on this software. So first, you just have to scroll down. They're very, very considerate. Looking to leave your fans speeches with incredible sounds? Click here. They've already provided you with a link to a Google search for a sound button. And what I recommend is my instance, which I, they probably would recommend as well. You already have these, these sound effects that you can actually test. And let's try to put some of these sound effects here in our soundboard. All right, so let's install it, download MP3. Let's put it on my assets, sound effects. There you go. Then I will put bruh. There you go, bruh. So it's already downloaded there. Let's put it in voice mode. Now let's click the add button and then there's the bruh button. And bruh. Pretty much it's there. Bruh. 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 If you want to add keybind, it's still the same. So let's say that this one's left shift left control and then a oh sorry oops i made an s left shift left control and then a bruh i just press the button bruh. and it just says bruh that is is super simple and you can pretty much use any sound bite as long as it's a wave file or an mp3 file so it's super super flexible and you can also do key binds all right guys that's it for the video hopefully i was able to help you guys out with setting up voice mod as usual guys if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below and also if this was useful to you please do hit that like button for the youtube algorithm sweetness and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you get notified for when my new videos go out by the way don't forget to also join my discord community link will be in the description down below and you can send a message at stream support if you have any questions about setting stuff up or any of my videos thank you guys so much for tuning in norcla signing off